Welcome 3D students. In this video I'm going to show you how to set up a simulation with the dice that we made earlier so that they'll animate and collide and land in a random fashion. It's really difficult to make things look random and doing it by hand so it's really nice that we have these simulations based on real-world physics that we can set up and just let them run. If you look at all four viewports here you can see what's happening. I have them stacked up like this and then when I play the animation they sort of have some velocity that throws them to the side and some initial spin that allows, helps them land in a more random fashion. So let's get started. Here's the die we made earlier. So the first thing we're going to need is some copies. So let's take this one that we made and move it up in the air. And then let's copy it. And then let's select both of these and maybe copy them one more time like so. And then let's select all four of these and copy them up a couple of times. And then I'm going to select this one and move it up and over so it's sort of in the center there. Now that we have multiple objects, we can set up the simulation. If you remember correctly, the way we created these dice was with the open subdiv smoothing. Um, they can't have any modifiers on them when we set up the simulation. So what we're going to need to do is collapse the stack and permanently apply the open subdiv smoothing. So I highly suggest that you go ahead and save a copy of this scene so that you can return to it later if you want to and work on it with subdiv active. So now that you've saved a copy and see I'm now working on dice 04, we can select them all, right click, and convert them to editable polys. And now the smoothing is permanently applied. To set up the simulation, we're going to need a tool set called the Mass FX Toolbar. So we need to right click on an empty space of our toolbar and find Mass FX and select it and it will float initially right here. I'm going to go ahead and dock it on my toolbar right there. Now the first thing we need to do is define these objects as physical objects. In other words, as objects that will simulate physics. And in Mass FX, those are called rigid bodies. And rigid bodies can either move or not. So let's select all of these and come up to this tool button right here. Click and hold and select Set as Dynamic Rigid Body. Once you define them as rigid bodies, it takes a little while for them to calculate because they're smoothed so much. So, but after it's done, if you select one, you will see that it now has sort of a collision mesh around it, and it has a Mass Effects rigid body modifier on it. Now, if we scroll down here and look for the physical shape, the thing that defines how it collides with other things, you will see that the shape type is convex. That is complex and based on the mesh. That's why it took so long to calculate. So we need to change that to box. So what we need to do now is just select each one and change it to box. And when we do, you will see that the collision mesh changes and simplifies quite a bit. And this will allow us to run our simulation faster. Now we lose some detail when doing this because we lose those rounded corners. Watch when we change it to a box you will see that the collision mesh now has corners when our actual mesh does not. But that's okay. We can live with that. Once you have them all changed, you should be able to press play and watch them collide with each other and fall to the ground. Now if we wanted them to roll a little differently, we could switch to the top viewport and create a plane like so. and then bring that plane up 
and rotate it so that when they fall they hit the plane and they should roll off the plane instead of just landing in a stack. Let's see what that looks like. Now they fall right through the plane. That is because the plane is not defined as a rigid body. We need to define it as a rigid body, so let's come up here to the rigid body button. And this is going to be a static rigid body. In other words, it's not going to move. So now let's see what happens. And that's much better. If you want your dice to be more energetic, then move them higher up and more closer to the plane so they can roll more. So we've now got our dice rolling as if they were thrown by somebody. And that is precisely what we want. They've landed in a random assortment, and that's exactly what we want. So the next thing we're going to want to do is import these into our studio, or import our studio into here so we can make a nice image of this. And we're going to use a camera, and we're going to use depth of field. So um, I explained that in the first video. So when we come back, we'll import these into the studio and take a nice image, and I'll see you then.